Hello everyone. I will be briefing through a project based on making a distributed game. It is a simple rock paper scissor two player game based on remote method and location and socket programming. Threading is also used for simultaneous mapping of multiple client pairs. It runs using an admin server, a mapping server and multiple client servers. The mapping server is used for pairing two client servers for the game. Here we have used python language for the coding of our project. GUI and game development are done using the pygame and takeinter libraries of python. So let's examine the working of the four distributed components. The first one is the client which will show the login and game GUI to the player. The admin server which will be responsible for the authentication of the player. The third one is user database which holds the user's information. And the last one is mapping server which will manage the connection among the players and the game board and its logic. Firstly, the client will send the request to connect with the admin server. When the connection is successful, the client can send request to login or sign up. The server will execute the request made by the client by searching or adding new user information in the database as per the request made. If a player cannot log in successfully, he or she cannot access the game furthermore. But after successful login, a unique user ID will be provided to the user by the admin server using which the player can request to the mapping server for the connection. The mapping server will connect to the player and map the player to an already made game board. And if there is no existing board, it will create a new one using the thread. Here is the admin server which is based on remote method invocation that interacts with a local SQLite database to authenticate users. The user service class exposes two methods, find user to search for login users in the database and another add user which allows clients to make requests for sign up. The code creates a pyro for daemon, register an instance of a user service class with the daemon, register the daemon with a pyro for name server and starts a pyro for event loop to handle incoming client requests. On successful login, it provides the players a unique ID which can be used for further game. Now let's see the primary mapping server. First, it will try to connect to the backup server when the backup server is on. Here, the server listens for incoming connection and assign them to a game if one is available. If there is not a game available, it creates a new one. The threaded client function runs in a separate thread for each client and handle the communication between the client and the game. It sends the player's number to the client, receive the player's move, update the game state and send it back to the client. If the connection is lost, it moves, removes the game from the list of games and closes the connection. Here is the backup server for game. The main loop for the backup server checks whether it is acting as the primary server or not. If it is, it tries to connect to the primary server and starts a new thread to receive game data from the primary server. If it is not acting as the primary server, it accepts connection from clients, sends them the game data and start a new thread for each client to receive updates to the game data. Remaining code is same as the primary server. Now see the last file which is the game.py which involves the implementation of game logic. The init function sets the initial state of the game. The get player move method take a parameter player sp and return the move made by the player with that index. The connected function returns true if both players are connected and ready to play. The winner method determines the winner of the game and the last function reset when reset the player1 move and player2 move flag to zero. So this is a network class which connects a client to the primary server and sends a data as a byte string. Also, client sends a message to the primary server after every 5 seconds. If client does not get any reply from the primary server, then it detects that a primary server has failed and therefore it will switch a connection to the backup server. Now let's see the client code. This code implements a GUI for user using Pygame and TechInter. Also, this code allows a user to log in and play the game. First of all, we run admin server and primary mapping server in one PC. The admin server is for user authentication. After that, we run backup mapping server in another PC. This helps in the case of failure of primary mapping server. After this, we try to run client code in the another PC. And after running this, we can see the game window with user authentication page. After the fill the detail of user ID and password, we try to run a client code in another PC and uh, try to log in with user id and password of another client after this when we click on the play now button the mapping server will map both the client with each other and the both the client can play with each other uh, here we can show player name and player id on the top of the window after this we try to run client code in the third pc and in this time we try to uh, sign up for the new user and in this case there are no other, other client that are waiting for the player so this window shows the waiting for the other players and after this 
we try to stop the primary server so all of the client will redirect to the backup server and the game will be restarted for all of the users.